Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 74 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. <laughs> and we're back again today. I had plans for today. Uh, I wanted to kill the Wither, but I had to do some things like uh, last episode we got this awesome little uh, feeding module for a backpack. So now I can just put food in here and not have to worry about feeding and save a spot on my hot bar, which is awesome. So I had went together into my test kitchen and made some food. I had to make a lot of bread and I don't have like a super ton, a lot of wheat. <laughs> uh, so I had to stop uh, at like a stack. Because uh, I, I want to make sure I have wheat in there if I need it for something else. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but I did a little bit of rearranging on my backpack. Cleared up some of this stuff. I need to like, go ahead and put these out, I guess, too. Because uh, I want to always keep one on me there. But, you know, three. Three is a bit much, right? So, I'm going to put those away. <laughs> like... I really love this spot because I can just spin around and see all the cool things that I've built. Well, most of the cool things, like I can't see the water wheel back there uh, because of that uh, cherry sapling over there and, and the ancient tree is kind of in the way. <laughs> but I can see the old farms over there, the manual farms. <laughs> <laughs> and I can see the wizard tower and, and all kinds of stuff so this is a really good spot uh, and I did add like a little well and I put some fixed spots for our little uh, daisies down there that way I know where they're supposed to go so if they're missing <laughs> they like get blown up or something I might notice a little bit quicker uh, so let's like throw some of this food in there so now i don't have to worry about my food for a long long time <laughs> um although there is like one one lovely little pork chop in there uh, yeah so i wanted to kill the wither and do some other stuff but when i went down and i was checking on my farms down there oh let me show you this is so good uh, if we go down to the clay farm and the, uh, the crystal farm, the crystal farm, I just cleaned it out uh, like a little bit ago yesterday um, and cleaned out that whole chest, <clears throat> cleaned out that whole chest and all the crystals were like fully grown and this chest was completely full uh, so this one's starting to get filled up so this one must be full again look at that <laughs> like i just cleaned it out yesterday um i don't know how this one is doing uh, not as well because this one takes a lot longer because it, it just uh it takes more time uh to convert and whereas that one, you just go and you put a bunch of stuff in the chest and you're done. I still want to get that ritual set up, the auto crafting ritual. I know there would be easier ways to do this. Like I could just get uh, a RF tools auto crafter and, and just do it. But then I got to have power down here too. So I kind of want to just... I don't want to do the magic way just to see what it's like. I mean, if it's worth the hassle to, to do one of those uh, rituals, if it's janky or not. But this little guy over here, the system is going great. Uh, I came and emptied out all the excess fleet yesterday and uh, all the excess like sometimes this gets sand i don't know how but it does occasionally there'll be like one or two sand in there 
and I'll just come and put it over here and everything's fine. But everything is going great. Look at this. Uh, we got a thousand clay balls. And the clay is making much less than the sand. So uh, that's kind of good because now I can just come over here, uh, grab some sand, throw it in here, and I don't have to worry about crushing it up upstairs using power uh, because I have tons and tons of source from the mop bar. Yeah, that should be good for now. And now I can go and take that glass and turn it into sand with the base and have tons of glass. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm really happy that this is going. I thought about increasing the speed of that, but I think this is about where I want it. I want it to produce clay, uh, but I also want it to have an abundance of sand. And maybe eventually this will get all backed up and uh, it'll have like a little chest of gravel for me to, um, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but I was uh, checking out, oh, I don't need to do this. I, was, oh, I do that every time. I only want to go to the iron, but it puts me up. Oh. I came in here and uh, noticed that I had a bunch of items sitting on the ground here. Oh, and I was like, oh no, what's okay. going on? But apparently a couple of my items have reached their capacity in their barrel, the ender pearls and the gunpowder. And I need to make some void upgrades to put in there because not only that our arrows are getting backed up or almost full probably just need to make a, like uh void upgrades for this whole section here uh, because that's the main bulk of everything all this other stuff is just um like side drops <laughs> except for this this looks like it's pretty serious raw water shards and uh the earth shards uh, not so much the air and the fire but these are way more common and you can tell that by the larger shards they're also more common of those as well uh, <laughs> i want to check out some more of these new mod uh, magic mods but oof i have so much i want to do i don't know what to do first <laughs> so i think what i want to do is make some void upgrades uh, we have the bottom three done, so I want at least six for these uh, these six here, so eventually they'll get filled up too. I might need to get uh, eight, two for these, because they're pretty common as well. I don't think there's anything else really close. Look at all those nuggets, and honestly, um, I am not getting a whole ton of gold from my quarry. So this is great. Uh, <laughs> I'll just take it and do this and send it to my system and voila, I have artificial gold. <laughs> it was uh, artificially manufactured in person. So that that is pretty cool. I like I like having that crafting table in here. Uh, so, oh no, I wasn't doing that one. I was doing this one so that I could do this. It's yeah. I don't I don't know. Is there a way to where you can get the uh, shift click results into backpack? Yeah, the little book there so you can but you can't because it's part of the map so yeah set base uh 
Um, yeah, so I think, I think I may have enough obsidian to get all of these uh, things. Uh, we might want to get <laughs> like a little void upgrade for the gold, but I'd rather not. rather not destroy the gold as little as i have i i don't think my quarry is going under or my builder would say it's a builder not a quarry uh i don't think it's going under level zero i don't i haven't seen it go below level zero and i didn't get hardly any diamonds from running a for the builder from the beginning all the way to where, when it shut off and said it was done. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. So I'm hoping that once I get into industrial board going, that I can get those lasers set up and not have to worry about relocating a quarry <laughs> ever again uh yeah that's kind of one of the the frustrating things uh because you can adjust what you get from <clears throat> the laser drills but you you just get everything when you're doing like the builder or a quarry uh i've seen people use the mechanism miner uh, the digital miner and that looks pretty cool because you just tell it to look for ores and then it goes through and gets the ores you don't even get like all the stone and stuff so that's kind of cool unless of course you want to uh, i think there's like an add-on that you could do to get cobblestone or i think that actually makes it fill it makes the miner fill in the holes that it leaves behind from the ores i think I'm not sure I haven't done it personally so <laughs> um what we need is some obsidian but i don't have a whole lot of obsidian in here but the last couple of days really i haven't had a lot of time to do any building so i just kind of went mining uh, for one, I didn't have any diamonds, so I went down to diamond level, and I did a lot of mining there so that I could get a few diamonds. Um, that actually is quite a bit more than what I had yesterday. I thought I only had like a couple hundred, uh, so I don't know what happened there. Maybe I just got really unlucky in the last chunk. Uh, when I placed my builder down. So I don't know. Uh, but I also went to the nether and did some mining because I read that if you mine at Y level 15, you have a really good chance of getting uh, ancient debris. So I went down to Y level 15 over by where uh, the pump is set up I kind of dug down a little bit from there and then just started mowing through everything with my laser uh, with my mining gadget and yeah I haven't even looked to see how much obsidian I got because I did have to tunnel under uh, some lava a couple of times which because I mean you can't take water into the nether to turn it to obsidian manually but since i have the the freezing thing on the mining gadget it turned all the lava into <laughs> obsidian so i did actually get some obsidian as well oh look at that we got tons of obsidian let me grab some of that out i've also because i did mining down at the diamond level had to go through a lot of lava there as well yeah that should be 
That should be plenty for what I need. It should be gobs. Uh, oh, and <laughs> look, this this is the nether chest. Look what I did. <clears throat> it's like completely full, but I found a crap ton of ancient debris. Look at all that. Yum. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. And I probably left some in the walls uh, because I was moving so fast I could bar barely see anything. If you do it just because breaking netherrack is so easy, uh, I can get going really fast with this belt on. So I can walk. Uh, eventually, I can walk as fast as I can mine, but it's so fast you can't really see what's going on beside you or above you because all you see is blocks flying up everywhere in front of your face uh, but it was pretty cool um so what else do we need for the void upgrades i think it's just a chest in the middle yeah one of the acacia drawers or whatever kind of drawer uh, I also programmed this to keep some wood in there for me so I can pull stuff out when I need to do things like this. I think I want to make, let's make, I think eight was what I needed. Yeah, eight was what I needed. So I can, that should be all that I need. Right there. Search and then search. Void upgrades. Yes. Uh, so I can put you back in there and you'll go where you belong. And I can put you over here when I need you. And I I took some clay up from there like way a long time ago. Uh, just so I could have some in here if I needed it for something. So cool, cool. What I do want to do is maybe uh, come down here and just uh... yeah, look at that get some uh, occasionally I just come in here and I grab stuff to be smelted Doo -doo 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 -doo. I know I'm doing it manually it's sorry but uh, I also I really want to get into some type of digital storage um, this is just it's really bugging me that it's been so long and I don't have <laughs> I don't have uh, digital storage. I don't have a way to easily auto craft all the stuff that I need. Oh, see, look at this. It's all backed up again already. Uh, so let's get this guy ready. Um, do the arrows, the string, uh, the spider eyes, the gunpowder. Um, yeah. Ender pearls and you, and then you guys, uh, boop and a boop. Okay, so I think that's pretty much all I want right now. This should start clearing up. Oh boy, look at it go! I don't know what to do with these arms. Like, what the heck are they even? They're doesn't have any use in JEI for it. Oh no, uh, more dimlets? Yeah, I don't have any room for those, I don't think. Oh, I might be able to squeeze one in there. Uh, maybe one in there. Uh oh, one there. <coughs> go and actually this one has two so put you in there uh 
go in there. I should put one in there. So I should be able to get this one. And boom. What is this? Canning book. Um, also, I have to come in here and mow the grass to get these to keep spawning drigmies because the drigmies make the grass grow, but once the grass gets overpopulated, they stop. Uh, they stop spawning. So that's no good. <laughs> and then they spawn all at once, and so I'm not progressing as much on the peat slime as I would like. But I do have almost six buckets, plus I have another bucket up, up top in my chest. Uh, so yeah, um, that's doing great. I haven't turned this guy back on in a while, but we have tons of Jelly Belly babies in here uh, to summon whatever we need, blaze, gas, uh, or whatever. Oh, uh, I did also, before last episode even, I worked on an area back here, Burn Wither. Oh my god, it's so dark. It hurts to look at it. Like you can't see anything. Uh, but it's all the tinted glass. I don't know if, uh, let's see, mage light. Does that even help? Oh, um, it doesn't. Oh, how do you get out of here? Yeah, look at that. It doesn't even help a bit. <laughs> I don't like it in there. I don't like it. Nope. <laughs> Uh, I have to kill this manually because there's, I mean, automatically because there's no way I can come in here and fight. That is too dark. That is too dark for me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I am ready to to get to the next step. Uh, I just have, I feel like I have so many things going on right now uh, that it, it's, it's really getting <laughs> overwhelming. I need to pick something and finish it up just to get it out of the way. I didn't mean to do you. I meant to do you. Uh, so, what are we going to accomplish today? Um, also, I was looking at how we process the, the netherite scraps or the ancient debris to get the netherite scraps. And you can, of course, just smelt it in the furnace to get one. Or you can do things like the mechanical squeezer and sometimes get an extra 75% chance. Or the crusher can actually get you three. But then you also need to put that through an enrichment chamber to smelt it. It will only go through the enrichment chamber, nowhere else. Uh, or um, you can put it directly into the enrichment chamber and double it. Um, Energize smelter just gets one. I'm not sure on the liquids that you get, how much that is. You get one ingot and three nuggets. So the, the normal one and a third from smelting, uh, but you can get two from an induction smelter and I have that everything else is just you know so I can double this which means I have a whole lot of ancient debris here just sitting there <laughs> so I think I'm going to smelt some of this up nice that's nice. I don't know what the slag is for. I think you can put use this as um, an ingredient, as a secondary ingredient in in their machines. No, yeah, uh, to help 
like the induction smelter, you can use it to, it looks like, get extra items. 20% chance of getting gold out of copper and getting a copper nugget out of, I don't know if it'd be worth it getting a copper nugget. Why, why not just do a bar right there? I mean, the gold is worth way more than one nugget of copper. I don't know. So yeah, it looks like that's used in the induction smelter. Sweet. Uh, now I have a little bit of the scrap, but there are several things that I want to do now that I have the scrap, in addition to uh, like the machines that we need, that we needed it for, the machine frames. Uh, now that we have the netherite scrap, we can go ahead and make that advanced machine frames and get the mob crusher. So I think I want to prior prioritize this uh, so that I don't have to kill with myself, which would be pretty, pretty cool. So maybe we should go ahead and do this and I should get my machine frames and make, how much does it say? Okay, so it does, it's perfect to do two of these at once. That way you can use a whole bucket. And I think two is what we needed. One for this. And uh, now that I have a lot of netherite, I'm not sure if that's the step I should take. If I should go to the nether or replace my builder with a, or laser base to get you know, things like diamonds and emeralds and, uh, you know, gold. <laughs> I'm not getting a lot of those. I mean, I just put in a whole bunch of stacks of gold right there. That's the only reason that's high. It's usually setting around the same as the silver, uh, but much lower, well, lower than the silver. The silver has gone up because I went mining down there. Uh, not it's not being it's not being mined by the miner. I did a lot of mining in the diamond area, so I got more silver and more gold and and everything while I was down there mining. Uh, yeah, so I need to go up and get my machine frames, uh, which I think came over here. Where are you again? No. Oh, industrial foregoing. All the way on the end. Sweet. I haven't seen this go up in a long time. Oh, you know why it's not going up? Because I... Uh, yeah, I turned that, I turned the tank off to where it's not outputting because I need to use some of this uh, latex in order to upgrade. Uh, is that all machine frames? No, I think that's how I made them. Yeah, so you can make four on a bucket. Uh, but I'm not sure that that's all I need. So, uh oh, I think uh, they're mowing the yard outside. So, all the cheese for the distraction. So we need four plastic, four netherite, four gold. Uh oh. Should have some plastic here. Plastic. Netherite. I'll just put that in there so I don't don't get it mixed up. Um, what else did I need? Uh, four gold and two diamond gears. Oh, that needs eight diamonds. Uh, two diamond nuggets. Mm -hmm. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Um, did that not take? Oh, it didn't take 
and iron nugget bags and we'll put some in here. And then I need my pink slot bucket. I knew I was forgetting something. So this will be great if I can get this set up to kill the wither and get that done. Okay, so I want you, and I can only put these in one at a time. I really boop, boop, and boop. Oh, yes. <gasps> Advancements were made. <laughs> That's a huge, huge step. Uh, and I can go get another bucket so that we can make two more as well. Uh, it might be better to maybe send it to uh, an ender tank and, and have it set up in here where it's more easily accessible <laughs> than just, you know, sitting down there in my mob farm. Okay, so this is really the toughest part of getting the mob crusher because everything else is things that we readily have available. Um, so what I want to touch on now, oh, dude, it's too, it's already been over 30 minutes. Um, uh, let's just go ahead and make the mob crusher and I will get that set up, uh, to, to bash the wither <laughs> and, and yeah, I can go in there, set him up, run out, fill in the hole, uh, have my mob crusher going and and just eat them up, eat them up. Uh, yeah. I also want to look at the uh, powered angel rings so I'm not constantly using my experience, which I don't mind. I have a lot of it. It's just, I don't, I don't know. It seems like this would be a lot easier uh, because uh, for one, I won't lose all my power when I die. Uh, I do lose the ring because it goes on the corpse so i have to run back but i have to run back anyway with the other ring so the advantage is that when i die i lose all my experience when i come back to my corpse i may not have the ability to fly at that point which would be <laughs> uh, maybe sometimes not so advantageous so let's just go ahead and gather up the rest of what we need for this guy. Okay, so mm -hmm. we need an iron sword. I know that. Two plastic. Uh, two iron. I think it was a redstone and redstone and two gold gears. And I know those need iron nuggets. And I got the plastic. Oh, I'm missing the books. <laughs> Don't actually need books, so. I'm gonna make those. Two books, please. And sword and that could do it oh i gotta make the gold gears and boom mom crusher what a relief <laughs> i don't have to worry about the wither anymore good job all right so uh, i'll probably for now just take a a battery down there and set it up uh, just to go into a chest it doesn't necessarily have to be an ender chest or anything uh, fancy fancy schmancy because I don't 
think I want to, until I get the next step, I'm kind of stuck here uh, until I can set up the fluid laser base um, to get the ether gas. I cannot make the wither builder until I get the ether gas. Uh, so, and that is something that I would definitely want to set up in a compact machine <laughs> just for safety purposes. Um, yeah, and we have the netherite ingots to make this as well. We can get it because we have all the netherite scrap and stuff. Dude, another thing that I want to do real quick. Is it, uh, oh, let's do this. Oops. Um, I want to make a netherite ingot. Boink! Because um, I can upgrade the backpack with the netherite ingot. I think. You can put it in the smithing table and boom, get your netherite backpacks. Um, and here's my little smithing table. I hope this doesn't eat all my stuff. I don't think it will. Netherite backpack. Press left shift to, oh, it's keeping it just so you can see it in there before you click it. Oh yeah. How big is that? There. Boop. Um, it got one more row, but I think a couple more slots over here. Uh, it's really not not as big as I thought it would be. Honestly, I thought it would give me more than one row. <laughs> uh, but with three more slots I could make it to where it could hold more cobble in like uh in those slots that are assigned to it making it a little bit bigger so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and call the episode here I'm probably gonna set this guy up in between episodes so that I can start killing the wither because <laughs> I have a plan I want to kill the Wither and get my Nether Star, and I want to kill the Wilden Chimera to get um, to get the other part that's needed, the Wilden Tribute, to upgrade my spell book so I can get tier three spells. Oh, that would be so great! I would achieve the pinnacle of greatness <laughs> of my wizard career uh, with Ars Nouveau. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, I still have a ways to go with like Botania and uh, this guy, Nature's Aura. I haven't even started on elemental craft or even uh, Forbidden and Arcana looks kind of interesting. It's magic, but it seems to be more smithing based. Oh. So it looks interesting. Maybe there's a way that you can smelt things automagically. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave the episode here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!